My name is Biljana Spirava, a requirements engineer at Melbourne Panalytical. I'm currently in our research and development center in the Netherlands, working in the team that is developing this product. We focused on the integration of the MRDXL instrument equipped with a cassette-to-cassette -cassette wafer loader to be used in a sex gem automated environment. To make the integration possible, several semi-standards and substandards were implemented, including E5, E30, E37, E95 and M20. In order to create our solution, we use Peer Tool Orchestrator from the Peer Group. In this introduction of the SexGem interface, I will demonstrate how to use it to create uh, wafer patterns and uh, recipes and configure and execute jobs with them. The first step of enabling the tool for the SexGem functionality is by starting the server. The server will automatically initialize the wafer handling robot and start the data collector. Next is the starting of the user interface and logging in. It should be noted that uh, the software also provides user authorization. The user interface provides you with all the functionalities needed for using our instrument in an automated wafer fab. In order to fully benefit from this solution, we have created a wafer pattern editor. In the wafer pattern editor, you can create and edit existing wafer patterns which contain spots where the measurements will be done. The creation of the wafer pattern implies setting of the sample parameters and grid parameters, such as wafer size and type, edge exclusion, and the grid type with its specific parameters. For example, you can choose to set a wafer pattern for a 200 mm wafer, and for that one to create a line grid which contains five spots and the step size will be automatically updated. However, this distance of spots can be changed, for example, to 40. And with every of these changes, the user can see that the spots are repositioned on the graphical view and their coordinates in the tabular view are accordingly updated. At the end, the user can choose to save this wafer pattern to be used in the measurements. In the wafer patterns window, you can also open and additionally edit an already created uh, wafer pattern file. Next is the creation of the process recipes in the recipes window. Process recipes consist of one or more recipe modules. For each recipe module, you can choose up to five parameters depending on the intention of the recipe module. Wafer pattern, XRD measurement program, analysis script, file name template, and sample name template. It is worth mentioning that for the need of bespoke analysis, the customers can change their AMOS uh, script configuration or Melbourne Panalytical can offer that as a service. This will determine the analysis results sent to the host. After the creation of recipe modules, process recipes are created. The process recipe consists of multiple steps. Each step contains a single recipe module. After the configuration of the steps in the process recipes, they can be saved and eventually published. Publishing a, recipe, a process recipe provides the host to use it in executing jobs. The system is now in local mode and you can execute jobs. You need to load the cassette by clicking the arrow for that. And a slots map will be displayed for you to choose the wafers where the job will be executed. However, the typical use of the system in the fabs is in remote online mode, and these steps are done automatically. Next is assigning process recipes to the selected wafer slots. With the current solution, you can choose from both published and unpublished process recipes. Once the job is configured, 
you need to create a job that will start the job execution. An already running job can be at any time stopped, aborted or paused. If a recipe module has been configured with a measurement analysis, the analysis starts immediately after the measurement on the spot has finished. At the same time, the measurement on the next spot continues asynchronously. You might notice that while the first wafer is measured, the next one is aligned simultaneously to ensure efficient processing of the cassette. We have demonstrated how to create wafer patterns and recipes, set up jobs and execute them in local mode. When using the software in remote mode, the instrument can be operated without human interaction. It reduces the contamination and improves your production yield.